Okay, so let's get this over with. So four minutes on the clock. Uh, deeply right. held. Would you like to discuss the deeply uh, held belief you have? All right. Um, sure. Why not? Uh, which deeply held belief? Well, I mean, there's plenty to choose from. I mean, I'm not too picky. Well, yeah, choose one. It's up to you. Okay. So, well, why would you be ask? Why would you want to ask me this? By the way, just out of curiosity. Um. I'm curious to know, uh, my goal here is to critically examine the reasons for people that they have in holding deeply held beliefs. Now, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I can, that's fine. Okay, all right. So I guess one thing for me would be, uh, you know, I guess, uh, hmm, good question. So like of all the different topics that we could go over for this, um, why not... Hmm. Do you do you want to talk about a deeply held belief you have? I mean, yeah, sure, but it's just the different. Uh, it's just what would we talk about? That's why I'm not too picky on the topic uh, for it. Okay, so at this point, I would say, well, thank you for your time and have a good day. And you know why I would say that? Why's that? Because I can tell you don't want to answer questions about a deeply held belief you have. Well, it's not necessarily that, though. Yeah. Well, then. <laughs> What deeply held belief would you like to talk about, RC? Well, that's the thing. Which one? There's uh, God, Jesus's existence, determinism. There's like several topics that are my favorite. Uh, Bible translations, the historical reliability of the Bible. There's like several things. All of which are things I enjoy talking about and having discussions of that I hold as my beliefs. Have a good we'll day. All right. So that's that's one. So RC, if your goal is to have a tactic how to deal with SEers, you're, you're perfectly right. Just avoid them. That's the way to do it. Just say I don't want I don't want to talk about deeply held belief. You're right on. I that's exactly what you should do. Just walk away. Well, that's the thing. I wasn't trying to walk away at that point. I intentionally was willing to have a discussion. Uh, but I want it as well to be something that the other Your, person... The four people listening to you right now and any Christians listening to the live stream can, can hear as clear as a bell what I just heard. Okay. You were run, you, especially in this situation where we know there's four minutes on the clock, mm -hmm. you're just running out the clock. Hunter, Rob, Jay, you agree with me that that's what was happening? Can you repeat that? <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, no, uh, so, so the thing I wasn't is, focusing on it. RC, the goal, okay, now I get it. I get what you're doing, RC, and I get what Doug is saying. Uh, go, Doug has a goal to, uh, to get you to talk about a deeply held belief that you have. Mm -hmm. And when, when, when you do that, you need to be able to pick out one of them. If you want to talk about determinism, then talk about determinism. You know what I'm saying? Now, right. but on the other end, RC, I understand how <coughs> you're trying to say, well, you're trying to welcome a, like, you know, something that that person may want to talk about. Because I've seen Anthony do that before. He'll he'll mention some things. And, um, but it, it, it wouldn't be from the, RC on the receiving end. It would be from the person, uh, you know, that's asking the question. Uh, RC, I'm going to be very honest with you. Okay. What you just did, I would love to have a live stream to as many Christians as possible because they're going to see that and they're not okay. going to be, they're not going to be happy with you. Why not? That's, that's basically what usually happens sometimes on the, uh, ask what topics when something, some things like that occur. And for example, when like go over Calvinism. The question, they, when you like, answer oh, the question, yes, I would like to talk about a uh, deeply held belief about, about what you have. Okay. And, and I ask you to pick one. And you spend like two minutes saying, well, I don't know. Um, it could be that. Like at some point. Because you're asking very some, broad question. Yes, it is a broad question. All you have to do is pick one. Right. But you're asking for what I want to talk about? Correct? Yeah. 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 That's Okay. That's, that's I, yeah, I, that's I, I'm sorry, RC, but um, it's time to go. All right. Well, I mean, that's the thing. It's like you asked me the question. I was trying to give you the answer that there's like multiple think, things that I would want to I talk about. Rob, I think Rob, Hunter, and Jay know exactly what I'm talking about, exactly what I'm saying, and are agreeing with me, but I, I'm not sure if they have the courage to admit it. 
Okay, summarize exactly what you think I am accepting, just to clarify. That uh, RC was just avoiding uh, the question altogether after admitting that he would be willing to talk about it. Mm -hmm. No, and, 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 and it's, it's like, um, what, what, in, what do they call it in politics? It's like a filibuster. It's like, basically, here's a tactic to deal with SDRs. Um, stall, dodge, uh, refuse to even get it going. Um, now, I don't mind his first question back at me, like, what's the purpose of this? But mm -hmm. after, he, after he's heard the, the purpose of the conversation, he can either agree to do it or not. And instead of just spending like two minutes hee-hawing about what I should pick, just admit I don't want to talk about it and shake hands and wave goodbye. That's it. There's no hard feelings. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like you're coming and asking, literally asking uh, if I want to talk about um, a certain belief. And when I asked, like, what do you mean? Like just any anything, you're asking to just simply discuss a... A belief that I have, which there are multiple beliefs that I have, of which that I absolutely love discussing concerning the Bible, the inspiration, the inerrancy of the Bible, Jesus, uh, the existence of Jesus, who was Jesus, God, um, Calvinism, which even that alone itself, Calvinism is a complicated one, because then what do you discuss? Total depravity, unconditional election, limited atonement, uh, determination, determinism. You have all kinds of topics that go into but, it that are beliefs that I have. So, yeah. Right. But I, so, should, I really need to go, guys. So. Right, so just real quick, though, I mean, just to clarify, what, so when you come up and ask, I mean, do you honestly expect that some people, because I know people, especially like my folks and stuff, that will want to answer questions and such, um, but will say that don't stop beating around the bush, be specific, what do you mean, which belief, or like, because you're just simply asking for a generic thing when some people, like me, could have multiple things that we are just as equally RC, in discussing. What you did to me, uh, I have watched a lot of Magna Bosco videos. I've watched almost all of Reed's. I've never seen that done. I've never seen someone say, yes, I would love to talk about a deeply held belief I have and the reasons for it. And then when you ask which one, they, they are paralyzed and they can't give an answer. I've never seen that happen. Sure. Would you, either of you be interested in doing an interview? It's about. I encourage the person that I'm talking to to pick the subject, something that they think is true. Skip to the nine minute, 21 second mark if you want to get right to the discussion. I'm doing something called street epistemology, the street version of it, and I'm initiating talks, but I'm interested in what you think is true, why you think it's true, and how you concluded that it's really true. I don't even know how to answer that, but sure, I don't care. I'm fine with <laughs> you it. Did it. But I tell you, let me give you one more detail before you decide. I get the sense that you're you're kind of on the fence here. <laughs> Ideally, it's something that you you think it's true so much to the point where it changes how you behave. Like I'm trying to think of what I think is true so much that it changes the way I behave. Can I throw out some examples that people pick? Sure. I met a guy last week who his mom asked him to bury a statue in their backyard because they thought it would sell the house faster. Um, a woman I met was wearing a, a pendant and she felt that it, uh, it protects her from bad things from happening. Karma comes up a lot. We, uh, yesterday I was talking to a woman who thought that uh, when, when this life is over, there's an afterlife, like you go to heaven or something. Regardless of the topic, I try to be neutral on it. I can disclose my stance on it if you want to know where I stand on it, but it's not really relevant what I think. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in the steps you use to get there. And I ask questions. Okay. You're the first person I've seen that happen to, and I think I know why. And I think why? I think because you are trying to to find a way to combat to to push back against the SE to, to have a tactic again. Well, you're, the name of your right. video is tactics for dealing with it. Like why do you right. need to deal with it? What's Simple. there to deal with? <laughs> Simple, because the one intention that usually comes about it is that it causes a lot of people to have a doubts about their faith and such, the things that they don't have answers to in some of the basic uh, stuff. So that's why we went over the word is tactics. Is Not necessarily. The issue about the tactics, as you realize, is the tactics as in like from Greg Kokel's book. So that's why we went over some of the stuff that it's basically uh, tactics like the 
Columbo tacking all that is the solution to uh, some of these things, as well as the other part that is mentioned in tactics is that when someone does what is, you know, basically like the Columbo tactic in uh, uh, street epistemology, don't be afraid to give an answer and such, um, and is also trying to encourage and promote and sharpen iron, iron sharpening iron of when these certain situations happen. And so that's why we're trying to engage in these kinds of uh, things and that you coming on here uh, would help out that bit more. But also at the same time, I, I noticed that when we're starting off that, I mean, you just ask a vague uh, question. And while you say that, you know, Anthony and all the mothers, uh, they've never had come across that. That's the thing. That's not a survey of every single individual in America, let alone even let's go to you, Europe, because I know there's based on the map I saw, there's street epistemologists in Europe. There could be people over there that are the kind that I just described earlier that will ask for you to be a bit more specific or what do you want to talk about? Because they honestly don't care uh, what topic, but they will be more than willing as long as you, of course, you also have like your own preference. You have those kinds of people. And if you're saying that, okay, bye, I mean, I'm not going to do what you said that you think I'm trying to run the timer down because face it, not much people will know about the timer if they don't, if you don't mention it, um, that people are just wanting to be curious. But I could say that for you to just simply say that you're, okay, I'm done or uh, never mind, that could be a sign that, okay, you don't want to deal with a certain specific topic or something. And I think that that would sort of be disingenuous for me to just assume that there's sort of a, a cowardice or disingenuousness on your part. That would be disingenuous of me to assume that of you. Uh, 